most of the best weapons farmed from one monster. Hours of grinding. Social life expended. To farm weapons and a little rock to perfect each and every weapon to its glory I have finally completed the Safi Jiva Sea What's up guys? I have wasted my life away too much for this day to finally come. The day is finally here. We are done fighting Safi Jiva. I've gotten all of his weapons that I want. I've gotten his old armor set. Probably could have gotten it like twice or three times by now. I've spent countless hours Farming Draculite, a small piece of rock to upgrade these weapons to the perfection. What I call perfection. My life is fully fulfilled. And how do we even more fulfill this? Is we go hunt. Great Jagrasses. Low rank, of course, because I want to go d d decimate them. Probably show some clips of me doing it. Who freaking knows? This took way too freaking long. I, 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 bro, I just got all the weapons. Now it's time to farm the gear, which I'll probably just make a mix set for, um, like great sword, long sword, sword and shield, all the dual blades. Hammer. Like, I'll probably, like, group them together a little bit. If it's, like, Gunlands and uh, something like that. Well, yeah, I'll probably group it together. But, like, it's time to go beat some monsters facing. Preferably a great Jagress. Show some clips. Have some fun. I really, I really want to see what it's going to be like. I've already tested this out before with this, uh, the Burst Cannon. It, it took like under a minute to do, um, but I want to see what, how fast we can get this by fighting a low rank Great Jagras. Yes, a low rank one. I'm not messing around. I ain't messing around. Low rank Great Jagras, eating for attack up large, true charge slash to the face. I'm excited. Q music, dramatic cinematics, and everything like that to make it look epic. Because I ain't joking around. I have finally fulfilled my destiny of playing this game. Farming all the greatest weapons or what weapons I want now it is time that we put these weapons to the mighty test against low rank great jaggers we shall sit here and wait for this innocent monster this poor monster to come here Are you ready? Because I know I am. Here we go. 182. 311. Yeah! 
okay, now that we're done with that, let's head back to camp and actually, you know, maybe go, um, share my opinion about this whole Safi Jiva siege and what I think about it and, you know, give you some tips about how to fight it or, like, what you should do. And, yeah, that means I have to go record a whole siege again. So I have to fight that monster one last time. Ugh. This monster, Safi Jiva, is probably one of the life-changing or game-changing monsters ever added to Monster Hunter in general. And I've played my fair share of Monster Hunters. I started all the way back in Freedom Unite. I played a little bit of Freedom or just Monster Hunter in general on the PlayStation 2, but I didn't actually like complete it. I played Freedom Unite mostly, and there was never a monster that I can say dominated every single weapon type like Safi Jiva's weapons do. Granted, I do know Raging Brachidios is out right now, and there's other options, but I, I don't think I've ever seen a, like, a monster just dominate in every category of weapons for best weapons highest damage if you want to go by they by that sharpness affinity element the whole nine yards my opinion about it i don't really like it you know i like the diversity of farm of farming different monsters for different weapons you know doing all that stuff because it gets very repetitive especially this grind i'm going to start off with the cons of the monster of the fight in general and the monster so the first thing i gotta say about it is that the fight after the first five fights it's so it's so just linear basically right you fight the you you uh grapple onto him wound it attack that part rinse and repeat he does his little flare attack or his uh, big bang i'm gonna call it for now that can one shot you run behind a rock and then you next level and if you don't kill it the first run kill it the second run right that's it's it's so repetitive and that's one thing that it's cool it's cool i like the fight the animations and everything like that it is kind of cool like you know in the first couple but one the monster has every weapon dominating as the best weapon in each category. Let's just say it's not fun to farm. And I didn't even farm all the weapons. I didn't farm all the bows. I didn't farm all the element uh, sword and shields. I just went for the poison or blast or whatever and called it good. So there's my con about it. The next con I have is that the monster this is my own personal opinion some people might like it is that you can't fight that you can't really efficiently fight this monster single player and as for somebody who has no friends yes i have literally zero friends that play this game anyways um on pc i should say who i will actually do the grind i have nobody and it makes it so i have to play with other people which granted i like too i like playing with other other people but this process could have been so much faster because you have to search i'll, I'll throw it on screen right now you have to go to filter lobby search find a lobby that's either not full or has close to the full maximum so you're doing four groups of four or finding a lobby that has three people in it so that when you join it, it's not just you and one other person doing the quest by yourselves. You're actually with a full team. That's the first issue. Second issues. For all the players that I met, I'm just going to say it. They're straight up terrible. Like, I died a lot. I uh, Granted, I did. But, like, they died a frick ton. And it made it so much harder because everybody kept dying and it would just be like end of the quest you failed wouldn't count end of the quest you failed wouldn't count all that dumb stuff and it was annoying freaking annoying so in my personal opinion they should I, I wish that the monster could have been single player farmable just a little bit like you know i understand the whole siege and it's exciting and all that cool stuff but like for us solo players come on broskies come on like I said, monster dominating all 14 weapon categories is insane. 
I don't think that's what he wants a good. Granted, I know some other people won't farm it, and like the hardcore people will farm, you know, to the absolute all ends to get the perfect weapon. But I posted a clip to my Instagram of me cycling Dracolite, and I the RNG sucks. It's insane. It's terrible. I. I <sighs> Okay, moving on from the bad stuff. The good stuff. They're all amazing weapons. They look good, designs really well. Um, I like how they evolve, per se, or awaken, or whatever. That's really nice. His armor's actually pretty decent. Um, you know? It's got some variety to it. Like the it's it adds the new mechanic of awakening weapons, them transforming per se. And the, with the armor, it transforms when you pull out or unsheathe your weapon. I feel like that's a very good plus. The whole siege thing, pretty cool idea. I like it a lot. Kolf Taroth, same thing. Like it a lot. I just think it needs to be executed a little bit better so it's not as, like, you know, s repetitive, you know? I feel like they could do a little bit better with like having the same thing happen over and over and again like that one drop down bomb attack the big bang but also make it so like maybe add a more finishing moves or variations to that big bang attack that will either spice it up so you're not always seeing him drop this star into the ground and blow everything up maybe it's like something else who really knows? It's in my personal opinion. I feel like it could, they could add variety, but like I do like the idea, and it was like the first monster to have something like that. I think, unless Kolf did. I didn't fight Kolf Taroth very much, so don't quote me on that. But you know what I mean. The tips that I have to fight this monster. All I gotta say, really, about when you're fighting this monster, is fight one of the either the rear leg or the fore leg. And make sure that you stand literally not like in front of it. You stand like you're looking at his his ankle so that if you get hit by anything, you can either dodge it or something like that. Otherwise, it's really just you have to have like a group of four or a group of three to do it efficiently, farm it efficiently, everything like that. And if you have the friends to do it, awesome sauce. You know, those discords, all that fun jazz. I didn't take advantage of it because I'm stupid, but you know. My my personal tip is break as many parts as you can. It doesn't matter if you break the wings or, or it does matter, I should say, but break as many parts, you'll get more Dracolite. When you're farming weapons, um, make sure you're using that weapon that you want. So say you want the gr Blast Greatsword that I'm running uh, occasionally or whatever, right? Well, if I don't have it, run a Greatsword. Once you kill him and you get the weapons, he will automatically give you at least three options, two or three options for greatsword automatically. That is confirmed, so that weapon RNG is a little bit less. Now, you granted, you may get more, but who knows? It makes the whole process very um, a bit faster, which is nice. It's so nice. <laughs> Another tip: Do not. I, I would just automatically give this guy's armor because it's pretty good. In general and you're gonna be fighting this monster so freaking much that you can just farm it I mean you need a couple crystals from Valkana Zenogre and devil devil ho but if you have the elder melder you can just melt those down final thoughts on this monster um I did enjoy I enjoyed Safi Jiva I'm just glad I'm done with it I will probably never ever 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 go back to him unless my friend like comes back and he wants to farm a little bit then i might but as like right now i will not probably not go back to him at all because he it's let's just say i'm a casual player but i dedicated time to this so i will i'm gonna give myself that bump up to be an average hardcore i'm not hardcore but I'm above average <laughs> because nobody's going to do farm 13 or four, at least 14 different weapons from him like I did. Upgrade them all in the Dracolite if you're just an average player. I'd like most people aren't going to do it. Granted, they might, but 
yeah. So that's what I think about him. He's a pretty awesome monster. I'm not saying I hate the monster. I'm just not saying at this point I don't like him because he's fried my brain too much. Um, but as you saw in the beginning clip, it does pay off. I did, what do you want to say, one combo with that low rank Great Jaggers, and it felt amazing. I'm probably after going to do like 10 more of those. But um, is it really worth the whole grind? My opinion, probably not. I feel like you'd be better off just farming like Sharus Valda's great sword first for you know your uh, your couple hundred like a hundred points a couple what do you want to say hundred attack value points or whatever off, but you don't have to go through that grind. So I I mean if you really want to do it, dedicate time to it to get the real good weapon, go for it. But if you don't want to do it, I would just say maybe go for another monster like Brachid Brachidios is great sword literally on par with this and it you know I mean fighting Brachidios is um a thing in itself let's just say that but I feel like that would be a bit faster than farming this guy's weapon while upgrading it 100% all the way so yeah if you guys have enjoyed today's video make sure you leave a like down below comment what you think about Safi Jiva if you like the monster, if you hate the monster, um, do you think, no, what you would fix about it, comment something, really means a lot. This is a very different type of video. We're talking about Safi Jiva and talking about Monster Hunter because I love this game. It's insane. The, the clip behind you, I said I was going to go farm him again. I did not farm him again. I lied to you guys straight up. That was from a Twitch clip from that Twitch recording from uh, Mondays live stream so make sure you go check me out i stream on twitch every mondays and thursdays roughly around 7 p.m us i think it's central time i probably should really should get that but it's around like six or seven o'clock between there twitch.tv forward slash thatcher 621 instagram twitter links are all down below also i love you guys bunches i hope you have a great day and good luck farming staffy jiva and monster hunter with whatever you need. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.